A very warm welcome to all of you as we gather for our 2022 Scholars Assembly. As you can see, this is not our usual Scholars Assembly that we would normally have here in this chapel. Unfortunately, because of the COVID restrictions that we're still under, we cannot come together in person this year. But we still want to recognize the achievements of our scholars by sharing this video and presentation of awards. Before we get any further, however, I would like to invite Chrissy Watson to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land. On behalf of who are here, I will respect the acknowledged traditional custodians of this land on which the ceremony takes place, the Gaibal and Jawa people of Toowoomba. And I will pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging, for they hold the memories, traditions, cultures and hopes of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people of Australia. We begin this devotion in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, our Bible reading today is from Psalm 100. It's the Psalm of Thanksgiving. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. When we look back upon our childhood, we can see that a considerable amount of our young lives revolves around school. It provides us with a sense of normality, a community with friends and familiarity. However, as each one of us is coming closer to the end of our high school education, our future becomes less determined. We may no longer be bound to an academic schedule. We may not see friends as regularly or know what career path to follow. The unknown can be daunting. It is full of possibilities and under the weight of it, or sometimes we may feel alone, anxious for the road ahead. Sometimes our goal doesn't work out the first time, we don't achieve the grade we wanted or didn't get the course we desired. And when we see these events happen, they can cause us to feel lost, struggling to reach out. It's easy to become scared of the future and sometimes being a little scared of it is okay, but it can get hard when these feelings become overwhelming. Psalm 100 reminds us that God's love and faithfulness is eternal, everlasting and without bounds. Verse three calls to remind us that we are creatures creatures of God, his people. God is our father and we can rest in the fact that his mercy is everlasting. God will never give up on us. Through the knowledge that the Lord loves and cares for each and every one of us, we know that we can move forward, that our future is not a path. We are walking alone as God will be there safeguarding us through all. The second component to the psalm is that it calls us to praise God. And today we certainly want to praise and thank God for the gifts he has given us and for the achievement of our peers over the last year, which after all include hard work that would not be possible without the Lord's blessing. We praise God for the love and faithfulness that he provides to us. The whole earth is called to unite and worship the Lord, thanking him for his mercy and love as he looks after us. It is important to note that this relationship of praise is not about manipulating God into some kind of blessing, and so that we are called into praise to our own choice and through seeing the blessings that he already provides us and thanking him in turn. Thank the Lord, for the Lord is good in his plans. We do not need to be worried moving into the future. His faithfulness and love continues to guide us through all generations and time. Please bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you today for the blessings you bestow upon us and for the blessings you provide to those around us. We thank you for this day and for the world you have given us. We pray that those affected by floods are safe and that those in war may come to a peaceful democratic resolution. We thank you for the students who today will be recognized for their outstanding achievements, and we thank you for the gifts and talents you have provided them. We pray that as they move forward into tertiary education or other opportunities, that they may continue to be blessed and that they may succeed in their ventures. We praise these things in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. His blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favour and give you peace. Amen. Hello Year 12s of 2021. I could call you our Year 13s, fellow young adults, um, proud parents and other guests. Um, I hope this service finds you keeping um, well and staying very safe. 
Welcome to this year's Scholars Assembly. Unfortunately, due to COVID restrictions, the start of university for many of you and work commitments, we've had to take this service online this year. Today we have the opportunity to acknowledge and celebrate the learning journey which you have been on in the past two years. This journey has been more challenging for all of you due to the way COVID turned normal schooling on its head both in 2020 and 2021. Congratulations on how you overcame these many, many obstacles. This is an experience, I believe, which has made you stronger, more resilient and more adaptable qualities and soft skills that you'll definitely need as you travel through life and move into your workplaces currently or in the future. I'd like to thank the parents for your commitment, your endurance and flexibility in working with the school over the past two years during the COVID conditions. I'd also like to today acknowledge the teachers and the staff of Concordia for their support, their dedication and their willingness to push the students through no matter what circumstances were thrown at us. Thank you to both groups. Enjoy the well-deserved accolades and celebrations today. We would like to recognise the following 2021 graduates for achieving special merit awards, the highest achieving student for each subject. Amina Apan, Psychology. Isabel Barton, Chemistry, Design. Ellie Burgess, Music Extension. Philip Burke, Physics, Specialist Mathematics. Charlie Deans, Accounting. Blake Urbacher, Business Studies. Kahana Gardner, Dance in Practice. Hugh Goodwin, Drama, Physical Education. Senga Harawa, Dance. Thomas Head, English. Modern History. Gemma Keeley, Essential Mathematics. Mason Lindemeyer, Literature, German. Casey Litchfield, Sport and Recreation. William Lachlan, Agricultural Practices. Caroline Marshall, General Mathematics, Geography. Tyler Parker, Food and Nutrition. Essential English, Hospitality Practices. Gracie Painter, Visual Art. Health, Andrew Parides, Mathematics Methods. Jaden Seng, Industrial Technology Skills. Ella Stangelan, Biology, Drama, English Literature Extension, Music, Christian Studies. Students also received an academic award if they achieved at least three A's, two B's, and nothing less than a C. These students are Isabel Barton, Philip Burke, Hugh Goodwin, Thomas Head, Mason Lindemeyer, Caroline Marshall, Alexander Paredes, Andrew Paredes, Ella Stangelin. This year we would also like to recognise students who received an ATAR result of 90 or higher. Congratulations to the following students. Isabel Barton, Hugh Goodwin, Thomas Head, Alexander Paredes, Andrew Paredes, Ella Stangelin. We would also like to recognise the following students and present them with an Academic Excellence Award with distinction. These students received five A's in subject results. Isabel Barton, 
Philip Burke. Hugh Goodwin. Ella Stangelin. We would like to recognise the following student and present her with an Academic Excellence Award with high distinction. This student received six A's in subject results. Ella Stangelin. The Medallion for College Ducks 2021 is our final and highest recognition. This medallion is awarded to the student in recognition of their excellent results achieved in subjects during year 12 and for achieving the highest numerical subject score at the college in 2021. Congratulations to Ella Stangelin. It is our wonderful and great honour to be able to present you with the Concordia 2021 Ducks of really? the Year. So, you receive this, well, I won't say it's wonderful, but it is a, a, a little, that is the college medallion that you actually receive for being the Ducks. You receive a nice um, special certificate and um, a little congratulations. You also receive the University of Southern Queensland sponsors this award, so you get the excellence award from them um, as well with that. Congratulations to all our graduates on their academic achievements. Well done and congratulations to all our graduates and award winners. A special congratulations is extended to Ella as our College Ducks for 2021. I would like to wish the class of 2021 every success. Please stay in touch. God bless and stay safe.